Welcome back to another Basics Game Maker Studio tutorial with some sequences and today we're gonna do some basic stuff. I wanted to do with you guys some advanced but it took like 30 plus minutes and I wasn't even finished. So I'm like, eh, maybe too long. This is I guess a thing for a live stream if you guys like it. So if, comment below if you actually want to see it. If not, I will skip on that. Then we go for some lightweight content. So what do we want to do today? So very, very quickly, uh, animation overlay for an object. So this is what you're seeing in front of you. So basically we quickly, quickly create this heart and then animate it so it's beating. So this looks, it's looking pretty cool. Of course you can do some healing animations and all that stuff. And then you can just instantly create that thing to be all the time around or just let's say for a one time, I don't know, glow effect or for one time something something and boom you can do it so therefore this is what we're gonna do today and um, maybe I guess in the next one we do some clipping masks and then I explain these whole features because there are not too many but I guess a little bit too long for 30 minutes so let's make this the easy peasy part and then I don't know have a little introduction how this stuff works so what we're gonna do first of all we create a sequence Call it sequence hard. And as you can see, quite a huge canvas. This thin gray line here. Then, well, let's make it a little bit smaller. So 40 by 40 and boom, it is smaller. And what we're gonna do, we just import one sprite, put it into the middle. Here we go. Very important to understand it. This thing is aligned at the center, so it's not top left. Like the, it's normally a default. No, it's uh, in the middle. And then in our sequence, what we want to do is, first of all, let's make this the whole time. And then we want to deactivate automatic record changes because we want to make it planned. This is then a little bit smoother for us. And therefore we just go on the plus thing. And then if you don't have your plus, well, <laughs> this is what's happening to me if the uh, descriptions are too long then this thing will disappear so therefore you need to make this uh, well, panel a little bit longer so we go under plus and here you have just a few things one thing which I'm missing this is very grave to me so uh, and I, don't, I don't like this um, there is no alpha channeling so this would be cool if you could change actually the alpha here you can just rotate it and change the position give it a different color or uh, well I don't know, change, I guess, the sprite or something. But here, I would like to have the alpha also. Therefore, you cannot do effectively screen clear or something that, would, which is a bummer. But of course, you don't have to do that. So, well, coming back in here, so we will set keyframes. And keyframes are all keys, are just positions in time. So, let's say we press on here, so we get this little diamond shape. And then we go to, let's say, 42. Then of course we can go on the diamond shape or we just go for plus. So this is how you can uh, create those ones too. Let's go for 50, create our last one. So as you can see, then we created three uh, keys. And then of course we can uh, well flip through them. And then let's say we are on our second position. We say like a hey, 150 by 150 and we change our scale. And this thing is then, as you can see, updating it relatively if for example you can of course change it to another for thing for example if you say hey you want a different interpolation you want to have it linear so basically linear just means like it's going slowly so this is cool but if you want to go abrupt then well you can right mouse click and then interpolation then you toggle it off but this is of course hey we want to have a smooth animation as you can see now it does what we want so quickly beating and then it's over but hey we want to uh, loop it so therefore we play, press on play boom and it works and of course it's a little bit too long so let's go for I don't know 54 of a total length and boom sweet animation over and we are pretty much finished with this thing here and then what we're gonna do is we will put it onto uh, those guys which we're gonna spawn in our level and this is just an object object villager let's kill all that stuff so we can see it step by step by step 
mm, destroy. There we go. And for that, we just need three things. First of all, our create event where we will create. Then step where we will update the position so it stays relative to where the player is moving. So we can have this animation being followed. Uh, while well, being following uh, following the player and then we need to destroy it later and this is kind of important because if you don't do this this thing will be forever around which we don't want so therefore first of all we create our sequence so layer sequence gone and then we need first of all the layer on which we want to have it so this is instances this is the our default layer on the left side as you can see of course you can use it whichever you like and then hey x y position not too important what you put in here because we will update it in this step event anyway and then what do we want to use well our heart boom we put it in and for now this will be created which is good but then we want to update it and updating just means like hey update the x and y position and this is a little interesting because here what you can do is sequence and then go to the last ones x and here we need to input the id of the sequence which we created and this one we need to grab so therefore we just create a variable call it i don't know sequence and set it to the thing and then we by this we are grabbing the id which we are creating and then we can use it to update this specific sequence because there are multiple ones of course and then to a position x i don't know let's go for a relative one and we can do the same for our y position boom and then y and let's go for minus 30 because we want it to appear above the player so let's check this out now you will see pretty cool but these villagers at some point will explode and here we come to a little issue because if you don't destroy manually your sequence then one thing will happen this thing will stick around forever of course at least for the level which we don't want and therefore what we need to do is say like hey layer sequence and then destroy and which one well whoopsie uh, the sequence which we stored or at least the ID and boom if we do this then it will freely and nicely work so here we go let's check it out and, uh, and hopefully this will work and as you can see the heart is beating of course this can be a heal animation an attack animation so this could be a one time or a constant animation which you are overlaying so pretty cool stuff which you can actually do with those things very very quickly and very effectively and they look nice and of course you can use this whole trick for i don't know for some buttons for some animations concerning um for some cooldown stuff and therefore um, this thing is definitely a neat way how you can do this so one thing which i wanted to show you very very quickly so here this I guess is a template for all these things you can do. So what you can do is have some movement. So here, then change in the sprite. You can have a color overlay. You can have a rotation or change the size, which we just did. And of course, what you can do is, and this is the interesting part. You can have this little thing here. It's called add clipping mask. Then you can have a mask sprite and a subject sprite. So here you are overlaying with one thing another thing and then by overlaying them you can for example do a little animation so for example the uh, can i go in here no i cannot sweet so basically you are overlaying let's say this little ice block with a mask which is this guy here and then well as you can see it's going downwards and therefore you can do quite a lot of things this is pretty cool for cooldowns or for example let's say a clockwise or a radiation or whatever there are tons of things you can actually do with this so but this is upcoming in the future and the one last thing which i wanted to show you for example at some point you can have actually add a moment and this moment has is uh, stored into a script then it's being created instantly once you press it here and bam at this point for example you can play a sound or do some inputs or for example start a thing which you want to start i don't know let's say uh, 
dialogue or whatever. So here you can go from the sequences outside to uh, things which are in here. So pretty cool stuff, but of course coming in the future. Ah, and I completely forgot, hey, <laughs> if you're still around, subscribe if you haven't. So if you like this stuff, hey, that would be sweet. See you around and have a good one. One up in.